Okay, so this week's workout, we're gonna do a minute on each exercise. You've got three exercises, three times through. You're gonna get a minute's rest, and then three new exercises, a minute on each, and three times through, and then that's just done. Okay, so with this, it's, as I said, it's a minute on each, but if you can't complete the full minute, then that's, back, that's fine. And if you need to have a little rest, have a little rest, because your forearm's gonna hurt within this first bit anyway. All right, so we're gonna get straight into your three exercises. Uh, goblet lunge, straight leg deadlift, and bent over row. Gonna start in three, two, one, and off we go. So goblet lunge, holding it all the way up. Big lunge forward, and then back. Lunge forward, and then back. So the aim is on this, as many reps as possible within that minute. Okay, so remember on the goblet, we just keep up nice and straight. If your knees hit doing this, then you can always go backwards as well. Okay, we've got 30 seconds left. Twenty-five. Now remember always engaging the core. Fifteen seconds. Let me just lighten up a little bit. Okay, five seconds, then we're straight into straight leg dead. So on this chest up and just bum out, bum in. Okay, so remember with this one, chest stays nice and high, and then we just drive out and in through the hips, keeping that back nice and straight and the core engaged. No angry cats on this, 20 seconds left, 15 seconds, 10. Five, four, two, one, and then we're straight to bent over rows. Remember, two hands, chest up, bum out, and we're pulling up. Okay, so remember as well, if you need to have a little breather, have a breather, but the aim is good quality reps. So if you're using the right weight here for your lunges and your deadlifts, you're not going to get as many reps out with your bent over rows. That's fine because it's not a strong muscle as with the other two exercises. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, two. Okay, straight back into the first exercise. So back in with the goblet lunge. So if you need to have a little breather, have a breather when you need it. Okay, 30 seconds. Turn that back. Fifteen. Ten. Three. Two. One, and straight leg your deadlifts again. So this is quite full on this one. Especially 
if you've got a challenging weight. Thirty seconds. Okay. Twenty seconds. Hey, 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 hey. Five, four, three, two. Right well, arm bent over rows. Okay, forty seconds. Three, two, one, and back in to the lunges. Remember, we're aiming the nice and deep within these lunges. Seconds. Fifteen. So you might be feeling it all down here. Five, four, two. One, straight leg dead. Okay, we're nearly halfway. Remember, you shouldn't be able to complete the full minute. You need to have a little rest and then go again. Three, two, one. Last one and get a minute's rest. Bent over rows. Okay, so I'm, I'm only getting fives out here. So these bent overs. Oh, 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds. Once we've done this, weight's off and you're making them lighter now. Five, four, three, two. Okay, so the next exercise is dumbbell snatch, press ups, plank, or ab rollouts. So I was going to be doing ab rollouts, but since I've moved 
I can't find it, so I'll find it for next time. So I'll be doing a plant. Exactly the same as Okay, 25 seconds. Oh, come on. That's not very good. Just over 10 left. Four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, dumbbell snatches. Open eight arms. Remember, chest up, we drive through the hips, and that's what helps us get the weight up is through the hips, the knees, and the ankles. We've got 20 seconds. So this, my important, about four, ten. Two, one, press ups. So remember, press up progression here. Starting your toes, negatives, and then if you need to, drop to your knees. I right, got first one, always aim to get a press up in. Move back some drift with that. So I've got just over half done. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Four. Three. Two. One. K okay, planks. The first one I haven't done it yet. If the plank is we aim elbows and toes. All right, if you need, if it's too hard, drop down to your knees. All right, the aim is as much as you can. You need to rest, drop down, rest. If the plank's too much, yeah, go into leg raises. For these seconds, remember we're sucking that belly button in, squeezing our bum cheeks tight. And that is get, giving us a good position here. We don't want to be up in a tripod. We're not a TP. 20 seconds. Ten. Four, three, two. And back into dumbbell snatch. So there's a lot. On our shoulders here. God, I'm sweating like mad. Thirty seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Heart rate should be high. Five, four, three, two. And press up. Remember the first one. We start off on our toes, and if you need to, drop to your knees from there. <clears throat> If 
you need to do a quick rest, have a little shake out, and then we go again. Remember, we're pushing ourselves here, so you don't need to stay up with me. Do as much as you can. Have a little bit of rest, go again. The aim is just get as much done as you can each time. 15 seconds, then either ab roll outs or the plank. Two, one, add into the plank. Remember, squeeze your bum cheeks and your abs. Nice and tight here. Yeah? Really engage that core. This has been quite fast, this. Only got a couple of minutes to go. seconds ten five four three two Okay, last round. Back into snatches. Nearly there. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one. Last one of press ups. Forty seconds. Oh, this has gone really, really fast. This one. Just over 20 to go. Should be on a couple of reps, then rest, couple of reps, then rest. Five, four. Okay, last minute plank, ab roll out, all leg raises. I want you to aim for the plank. If you are doing it, not just go to leg raises because the plank's hard. Now time to regulate that breathing. We've got just over 40 seconds. I enjoyed this, this went through really fast today. Twenty seconds, last twenty. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax there. Okay, good effort. So record what weight you've used in the group, and then as as per three times. Focusing on progression, use this first time as an indicator whether your weights should be going up or down. But 
It's a very, very sweaty one that one today. Enjoy.